Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome to part 18 of Let's Play Banished. Okay, the uh, first thing I notice is that our blacksmith has hit his cap of 100 tools. Let's go ahead and move some of it over here. So we're already, you know, we've got quite a few. I'll go ahead and move over 60 more. And let's go ahead and start the clock. Now, in addition to that, it might not be a bad idea to just at least raise this to 150 so that I don't keep getting that stupid message. Um, in addition, I'd like to start building a house. And I think where I would like to do that is right here near the farms. Uh, of course, we're going to need a couple of builders for that. Now, if you missed our last installment, uh, this message here, as it indicates, we had a little excitement when a tornado touched down. Miraculously, it missed every building we had. Unfortunately, I didn't notice at the time, but we did lose one of our hunters. Uh, I'll be honest, I kind of consider myself lucky that... Um, that's the only thing that happened to us but uh, not so lucky if you happened to be that hunter so we can get 500 cherries uh, and I'm at least going to trade for 200 of them using these fish that seems like a no-brainer the question is, do I want these peach seeds? And I suppose the answer is, uh, yeah, I do want the peach seeds. So I need 2,500. I'm now wishing I'd have kept one of those fish um, because I could use <laughs> one more point. And I don't want to give him anything for free, but that's okay. Actually, I think what we'll do I don't mind getting more of the um, cherries. So I need 299 more. There we go. Is there anything else I care about? Oh, the iron costs five. I wouldn't mind the steel tools. Although, I'm kind of saving this for... Yeah, I'll just trade venison. That's fine. So, let's go ahead. We'll buy 10. Uh, I'm sorry. I confused the two fields. I want all 25. Okay, so we need 250. Uh, I think I'm going to have to do 84 and just... Oh, no, I can at least make up one. <laughs> All right, I'll give up uh, the one unit of value. Okay, I think that's going to do it. So, that was not bad. So now we can actually do another orchard. And I have to say, I've mentioned this before, we really need to replant this one too. Uh, we're just getting a really crappy yield out of this thing. I mean, 57% at harvest time. That's not good. And I think what happens is just, you know, some of the trees kind of go bad at a certain point. So let's go ahead and harvest this. And then I'm just going to cut it down as much as I hate to do it. And I'm going to look for a place to... Uh, to build the other thing too. Okay, well, I can't do much to accelerate. Oh, hold on. I always forget this. So I just realized that my uh, my venison, like I'm going to end up raiding the, the entire stockpile. Uh, likewise, I don't really want any fish. Yep, see, and I brought over 200 more. Yep, okay, well that's fine. He'll he'll take it back. It'll just take him a few minutes. Okay, um, 
I'm actually going to speed this up all the way for a short bit. I want to get the harvest in and I want to build this house. We only have two laborers, but the two builders will help bring the stuff over. And in fact, yep, now it is just literally building time. We have a couple of more kids born. It's actually pretty amazing. We have, we're up to 40 adults, <laughs> make that 41, but we had, you know, 40 adults and 25 minors. So, I mean, that ratio, I think is about as high as it's been the whole time. All right, I was hoping to get a couple of farmers here, but eh, you know, that's not the end of the world. Okay, let's cut this down as much as it breaks my heart to say that. And I actually think what I'll do is I'll just switch this. Well, actually, yeah, I'll just switch it. And then we will attempt to build a new orchard. And let's see how big we can make it. Because I pretty much, all right, that's it. Cool. So then what I'm thinking is we'll build more road down here and try to figure out, I don't know if we can build more homes closer because this area is kind of crappy for that. Uh, but if not, that's okay. We'll build some more homes uh, across the bridge, I guess. Although we are running out of room. But why worry about a little thing like that? Now this one, uh, we will put on plums. And the nice thing is, if I remember right, both peaches and plums can be used. Oh, let me staff this up because he, we should have plums in stock. Uh, yes, we can. So we can make ale out of both of these orchard types. So that's kind of cool. Okay, um, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and just put up another house right now. And I might as well just do it here. We're going to keep that population growth going. Wow, I didn't expect them to start planting trees now. I am going to go ahead, though, and cut back on the number of farmers for winter. That'll give us more general laborers. We'll leave the builders at two. And I guess there's no point having the tailor right now because we're out of leather. I already got five of six hunters staff, so I guess I'm not going to get a whole lot more than that. We don't need the trader anymore. So I might as well go ahead and put somebody else on stoneworking. I'll put a couple of more guys on stoneworking. Winter is not going to last much longer at this speed. It's okay. How are we doing in Chicken Town? Wow, we've almost maxed it out. That's pretty sweet. Look at that, man. We really are Chicken Town over here. I'm happy about that. There it is, 53 of 53. So we should now start getting a lot of chicken and eggs for our storehouse. I got 89 over here, and that's probably where they all are. Yes, it is. You know what I, I didn't think, too? I should have had him use those cherries for ale, and I didn't. Uh, at any rate don't think I need to pause it. Let me just start it up again. Oh, I remember why I did that. Sorry. Uh, I need to um, get farmers working again. Okay, done. So we don't need builders. And I'll go ahead and ease up on the stone cutters. That was just a temporary thing to keep people more productive. Now, I do think what we should do is... I don't really know if when you're in here that kind of counts as a road or not um, but let's do this let's go ahead and extend this stone all the way down 
We'll make this stone. And I think just to be safe, I'm going to do that. Now, I'm not going to actually do it, but now I can't. I cannot build a house here because of the mountain. I was afraid of that. Could I put one here? Yeah, I could. It's funky, but I could do it. And I may, to, to be honest. Who did we get here? So, okay, we finally got a farmer. And, and okay, so now these people switch to being farmers. That's what I was going for. You know what I could do now that I look at this? We can just build the road out like this and we'll place some homes right here i i think that's actually how we uh we go next and actually yeah i have the manpower let's just do it uh let me place it right now well i don't know i was gonna wait until the um road got extended but it's right next to the one that's there. I'm not going to fuss over it. Okay, cool deal. Let me make sure our fish isn't getting too low. Yeah, it kind of is. So I'm going to come back up to two fishermen. And with that, yeah, our overall food is actually doing very well. It's only within certain categories that we get low. And it's unfortunate. We're going to spend the next few years putting manpower into these orchards but we won't get any food out of it but once those start yielding fruit we're gonna be okay and I'm not too worried about it because the chicken meat is gonna start coming out of here now see like it said 54 or 53 for a minute and then it dropped down that's because they slaughter one and now you see there's chicken meat in there so we should be getting a fairly steady supply of that now let's look at the leather how much have we built up 12 and that's it okay i don't want to staff this up again until we really get a decent supply and we're going to go ahead and kick the speed up i'm very aware of the pace that this playthrough has moved at so i really am going to try and you know push it forward as fast as i can i think what i'm going to try to do is get to a hundred citizens overall and then uh, end the playthrough what i might do is play off camera for some time and see like if i can get to 200 and then record uh some footage of what that looks like as well um, if you have thoughts about what exactly you would like to see me do, by all means, tell me in the comments. Uh, but that's kind of the rough plan in my mind right now. We see it is harvest time. Overall, you know, we really continue to do pretty darn well in the town. Our happiness and our health have stayed really good this whole game i think four stars is the lowest i ever got four hearts was the lowest i ever got and i can't really complain yeah not that uh, much i can do here i'll just shut it whoops that's not what i meant to do <laughs> uh, okay stop please stop i don't want to let the uh merchant leave without seeing what we've got okay so he has cabbage seeds and wheat seeds well do i have a lot of venison i can trade i kind of do so let's see i would need another like 350. so first let's put two people to work as traders because I want it like right now and then um, do 
Do I want to trade for something like mutton? Maybe. I don't know. I don't like paying three, and you're just eating it. It's not. It's not really a big deal. The seeds are the big deal. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start it, and we'll make the trade as soon as I get enough venison. I'd rather that they brought cattle, but oh well. It isn't like we're in dire need of any of that stuff anyway. Okay. So let's try to get the wheat because we can use wheat in ale and I would like to do that. Okay, uh, I'll go ahead and just grab, oh actually I could just take like two, oh it always does that. I think it's going to go up by one and it increments it in ten. So I could do this. And I think I will. I think that's um, sufficient. I could trade for the cabbage, I guess. I just use the rest of my venison. And we'll just trade for 78 cabbage. And it's not a big deal, but it's just a little bit more of uh, one food we don't have in stock. I'm good with that. Let's go ahead and drop back down to one trader because a lot of the urgency just went away. Okay, so we can cut back on farmers for the moment. And I might as well go ahead and put them on stone cutting duty. Okay, so it looks like we built this road out, which is awesome. And I'll tell you, we're just going to do this. Drop another house. Who took the last one? Awesome. Another young couple. That's what we wanted. I don't like it when I build a house and you get some old geezer move in there by himself or something. That's not necessarily helping us. So how are we doing in our population? We have 46 adults, which is, you know, pretty amazing in a way. Why does this say we're maxed out? 308. Oh, sorry, that's the blacksmith. Wow, really? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so first thing, let's go to iron tools. And we'll go to like 260. And then I guess I just need to set this higher, like a lot higher. And what about the leather? I'm up to 30 there and 12 here. That is sufficient to staff the tailor again. And I might as well move more clothes over as well. We can bring at least 20. Okay, and can I make ale again? Uh, apparently not, but it's late autumn. Oh no, I'm an idiot. There's no point. It's going to be a couple of years before we get plums, so I'd rather just have the worker. We'll go ahead and lay off a couple of more farmers. So, yeah, we're down to the building phase here. So is there anywhere that we should add another stone road or like build out the stone road? Maybe over here? That's probably not a bad idea. I can't really see. There we go. Okay. So that's when we use a decent amount of the time. If I'm ever going to build this out, I have to do it down there as well. And I wish I could do more over here, but I mean, seriously, how much more can I do? I could build homes down here, but they won't have access to the, the storage barn or anything. So I think that's not really a great idea. I would actually be more inclined to just put one... Uh, where, where was it I saw? Is it here? That sucks too. Never mind. We're just going to use these. 
and then um, I think realistically I could build more here that's probably not a bad idea I think as soon as this one's done did I slow down no we're running at five times speed it's just winter um, yeah I can't make ale so the next question is, where do we put the wheat that I just bought? And I've been looking at this for a while. Um, I actually think we may have to come down here somewhere. Or maybe over here. I mean, it's like an ungodly distance away. But I've been thinking about building homes down here. And kind of, I don't know. I'm torn. I don't feel like this map is the best ever. <laughs> and uh, it's like a lot of hills and water. And I'm not really quite sure where to go. Did I lay... Oh, I'm such a retard. I laid off the builders and then I didn't staff them. So, of course, nothing new has been happening. Well... There's no point putting stone cutters to work because they're going to stop. It's late winter and I'm going to need them for farming. So I might as well just go ahead and do that now. Okay, we definitely are not gathering too much food. My iron is basically holding steady, which tells me that I have the right number of people in the mine. And I also think perhaps building another home over here would not be out of line. Wow, we have 19 children. Holy crap. I may be building too many houses too fast, actually. How, how many chicken and egg? Okay. So we are not overproducing on the chicken or eggs, it looks like. We don't have a big storehouse of them. There may be a bunch in people's homes, but we're not glutted, even with a pasture that big. It's kind of amazing, to be honest. Yeah, it's spring and they have started planting and this house is done. So... Let's do this. I will extend the road here. Let me do this. I'm going to go ahead and speed up. What's that telling me? Reserve of firewood is low. I'm not going to worry about that right now. So this will probably be the last home I build for a while because I am a little bit worried about kind of an uncontrolled baby boom and putting us in a situation where uh, we just can't feed everybody. I mean, we have 27 minors being supported by 48 adults. And that, I think, is a fairly heavy ratio of people who don't contribute at the moment. So what am I up to? 58... 75 altogether. So, yeah, again, I think 100 is a very realistic goal. I don't know what the maximum this map can support with what I've already got set up. I certainly don't think it's sky high. Um, I would probably do a lot differently if I were going to plan all this out in advance. And honestly, I would probably just try for another map if I was really going for a big population. Uh, but we're not going to start over and do it again. Okay, well, I think that um, with uh, nothing really underway at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. And we'll think about the next project we should undertake. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching. I hope we see you next time.